John Guzman coming in at 5'7 out of San Gabriel. He is a ground and pound fighter. Unlike his opponent making his amateur debut, he comes in with a 1-0 record, Jeff Tolcher. And one of the interesting things about this fight is the two different styles are going to be clashing in the ring. You mentioned the ground and pound of Sean Guzman. Camarena likes to stand up. So Guzman's going to want to try to get Camarena down on the canvas, and Camarena's going to try to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him and almost do a boxing-style type fight. Well, both these fighters weighed in at 145 earlier today, listed as lightweights, introduced as featherweights under Camel, the California amateur mixed martial arts organization. Both fighters in the ring now, and let's go to the center of the cage for our introduction, our all-star promotions battle of the rising stars. Let's take it away, Jimmy Fitzgerald. All right, fight fans, here we go. Now in the cage, that's the one, two, three. All right, fight fans, now in the cage, three rounds of mixed martial arts in the featherweight division. Introducing our referee in charge of this bout, Mike Beltran. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing black and yellow trunks. He is training out of Champ Crew in Bell Gardens, by way ladies and gentlemen he is fighting out of the red corner he is training out of champ crew in bell gardens by way of san gabriel california he weighed in 142 pounds tonight he is making his debut ladies and gentlemen introducing andre Camarena! I've been training day in, day out. I'm um, going over you know, all my skills, over, going over boxing, going over wrestling. Um, two, three hour training sessions nonstop every day, five, six days a week. And then uh, eating, eating a lot, you know, staying hydrated and uh, going balls out, doing what I gotta do. Uh, I train with uh, KO MMA in, uh, in Montebello. I train with uh, Champ Crew in Bell Gardens. And uh, they're a good group of guys, tough and uh, push us to the limit. Fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing white trunks, trimmed in black. He is training out of UFC in Rosemead and Submission Fight Factory in San Gabriel. He weighed in 145 pounds. His record, one win with no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sean. Wolverine Guzman! I've been training with my team Submission Factory and my camp at UFC Gym. We're in striking, ground game, endurance, explosion power, everything in the book. Either my opponent wants to stand, I'll stand and bang it out, I'll take it to the floor and dominate. At Submission Factory, uh, it's from Larry Landis, under Larry Landis, uh, he's a referee for UFC, and uh, all of his special fighters are like I said, our mind game is freaking unstoppable and the endurance and the power. We don't give up easily. You have to beat us to get the win. Here you look at Camarena and Guzman tonight. Camarena making his amateur debut. Sean Guzman coming in 1-0. and and Sean the Wolverine Guzman at 5-7 along with Andre Camarena. Our judge inside the cage our referee mike beltran our judges ringside don howard larry lamas and don vodder our physician ringside is dr ralph vega and again before tonight's bouts underway a lot of the fighters no specific course of action unlike these two they told us guzman ground and pound and camarena stand up and right now it's going camarena's way that's certainly the way you want to start off the first round 
Certainly got him in some trouble early on, and you can see the grappling techniques up against the cage. Guzman with a double hook now on the legs. And Guzman taking Camarena down. Camarena in a guard position right now. No punches being thrown by Guzman. Nothing serious to this point anyways. Three two-minute rounds. Well, this is where Guzman really wants to start pounding his opponent. Now he does with a couple of good rights. Guzman trying to get out of that stronghold in the guard position for Camarena and then returns to the front mount. One of the things we heard from every fighter we interviewed and talked to before the bout was that cardio was key. And in a bout like this, in spite of two minute rounds, it still takes its toll. And now Camarena with a chokehold with a right arm on Guzman. Was looking for the guillotine. And now Guzman with the right, check that left leg and thigh, taking some shots to the head from Camarena. First round in the books. And they went from the standing position as we thought they might start off with Camarena style right down to Guzman, the ground and pound. Well, you can almost split that first round. Guzman got him where he wanted to, got him down on the canvas, and then Camarena fought out of it. But Guzman scored a lot of, a lot of punches, a lot of strikes in that first round. So we'll certainly have to see how the judges wind up scoring round number one. Guzman. In blue, Camarena. In red, the man with the beard, Mike Beltran. MMA experience, five years he's been a referee. Here we go, round two, scheduled for three. Guzman again going to the grapple. Right knee to the upper torso of Guzman from Camarena. And again, Guzman was not exaggerated when he said he really loves the stand-up style and the freedom that that stand-up style gives him. Combination of left and rights and Guzman trying to get control. Gets the guillotine and goes down. Guzman on his back. In the guard position with his legs locked. The X guard. And he's choking Camarena. You need blood and oxygen to the brain to continue. And you see the left arm and the chokehold that he has on Camarena in the red. And Guzman in a defensive position, getting that chokehold and putting his opponent in danger of losing the fight. Guzman, 1-0. and oh. Camarena making his professional debut. And Mike Beltran close and looking on. Meanwhile, Guzman trying to lock the legs around the mid-torso of Andre Camarena. And a release of the legs and locking him again is Guzman. Camarena holding. Meanwhile, the clock continues to tick. Ten seconds left in round two. That always seems to spur fighters on when they hear the ten-second count. A couple of combinations to the body by Camarena, but I don't know if they had much of an effect on the man from San Gabriel, Sean Guzman. Camarena, Andre Camarena, getting last second instructions from his corner. Camarena, Camarena also out of San Gabriel. And one of the great things about MMA fighting is in Camarena's situation, he's behind in the fight. 
but it doesn't take very long to get a knockout and to get, get out of here with a victory. Many, many, many times we've seen a sweep where the opponent on the bottom or the opponent that was down comes back and not only gets on top but wins the bout. It's a common occurrence in mixed martial arts. Round number three scheduled for three. Andre Camarena donned in red, Sean Guzman. Donned in blue, Guzman brought in a 1-0 record. Camarena making his amateur debut, a stand-up fighter. A little fatigue. The punches were missing, and the reaction to get back in defensive position was slow. Camarena told us before tonight's bout that he was a stand-up fighter, and he's lived up to those expectations. Meanwhile, Sean Wolverine Guzman is the ground and pound, and that's where he feels most comfortable. And Guzman again getting him in a headlock. This is a similar situation we saw in round two. Camarena got out of it in round two, but can he get out of it here in round three? Camarena with the mount on top. Guzman with the X guard on the bottom. Now Guzman taking some strikes to the head from Camarena. And now a chokehold with the right arm. Now the left arm. A half mount. And then coming out of it was Camarena. Now Guzman with the front mount. And now Camarena with the X guard. Ten seconds left in this one. Camarena fighting off Guzman, and that will do it. So Guzman and his amateur debut. Camarena, check that, making his amateur debut with Guzman. The Wolverine looking to go 2-0. Your well, thoughts? I think Guzman won the fight. Again, we'll have to check the judges. Scoring on the 10-point system. And there's our ring announcer, Jimmy Fitzgerald, along with our referee, Mike Beltran. And we are set at the center of the cage for the relentless fight wear official judge's decision. Let's go down to Jimmy Fitzgerald. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Judge at ringside. Don Howard scores the bout 29 to 28 in favor of Camarena. Judge at ringside. Larry Landless scores the bout 29 to 28 in favor of Guzman. And Judge at ringside. Don Botter scores the bout 29 to 28 in favor of our winner by split decision. The blue corner, shot to Wolverine Guzman. So Sean Guzman, Jeff Tolcher, goes to 2-0. and oh. You were correct in your prediction, although two judges, or at least one judge, saw it the other way. Well, the judges used different, I mean, the same criteria hey, in scoring. But one of the things that Camarena did very well was get out okay, of that, that position, that ground position, and fight his way out and actually landed a lot of strikes to his hey, opponent, but this? evidently was that not time? up to win the bout. Indeed, more mixed martial arts coming up. It's the CAMO, or the California Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Organization. And All-Star Promotions, yeah. Battle of the Rising Stars. Back with another out right after this.